It's been a minute since I've laced up these boots. I'm Anna Witte out at Ralph Lundy Field showing you what the Charleston Battery have in store for the 2022 season. Joined by the executive chairman of the Charleston Battery, Rob Salvatore. Rob, we are days away from the beginning of the Charleston Battery season. Yep. We have the MLS teams coming in to play in the Challenge Cup. Yep. What is the Challenge Cup? So it's a, it's a great tradition uh, for this organization uh, where MLS teams have come down uh, to fine tune and, and finish up their preseason. And really it's, it's that, that last preparation for them and, and a chance for us to measure ourselves against the, the best teams in North America. You also have had some turnaround in the off season. You've got some new players, a new head coach who used to be a former national team player and right. coach Connor Casey. What is the style and identity of the 2022 team? Yeah, so a lot of change in the off season. We've been busy uh, with with Connor, um, an amazing uh, career and experience that he's going to bring both as a player and as a young coach. Uh, I think you're going to see a very aggressive style, uh, pressing forward style. Um, so it should be it should be exciting for the fans. You mentioned the fans. Mm -hmm. What can the fans expect from an experience when they come to the games? We want to get the fans on top of the action and be able to bring more uh, food and beverage options in. Uh, the, the local flair that Charlestonians love or people who are visiting uh, want to take part in. At Fox 24 News Now, we love food <laughs> and we love Bev. So what are the food trucks, the beverages that fans are going to be able to indulge in? Yeah, we'll, we'll have home team back. We'll have the co-op back, which is a, a fan favorite. Um, we have Coastal Crust who brings in their, uh, their wood-fired uh, truck and so they're making fresh pizzas. So we're, we're actually finishing up a, a new little bar. So we've got uh, all the great local beers. If you're not an indoctrinated battery or soccer fan, can we bring you for the food and then convert you over to the game? Well, that's what I was gonna ask next, was people who aren't sports fans, mm -hmm. but they love to be outside in the summer, yep. enjoy the food, enjoy the beverage. What is the biggest draw for people who may not be a soccer fan to begin with? Yeah, yeah. We can get them there eventually. Yeah, we'll get them there. You know, we've really built kind of like a grove. Uh, we call it the Battery Pavilion, but it's, it's really kind of a beer garden grove where there's entertainment before the game we have a stage out there you mentioned your players you have a new player coming in mm -hmm. he's a defender matt sheldon yep. what can you tell us about him uh veteran presence a really great guy he's he's been around the game in this league and i think that should add some stability uh, and versatility to the back line there now we're joined by the new Charleston Battery defender, Matt Sheldon. Matt, you're new to the Low Country. When you first found out you were coming to Charleston, what's the first thing you looked up? Um, first thing I looked up was the, the coach and the, the, all the facilities and just everything that had to do with soccer. But then the next thing was definitely the, the beaches. When you found out you were leaving Tulsa for Charleston, what was your initial reaction? Uh, very excited. I mean, it was very hard to leave. It was a tough decision, but I was really excited just to see something new. I've never lived on the East Coast before, never even been to Charleston before, so I was really excited to just explore something new, and everyone was telling me, like, Charleston's one of the best cities in the country, so I was really excited. Yeah, you know, you're definitely in a great spot. So you've been in Charleston for a few weeks now. Mm -hmm. You've been able to explore, it sounds like. What are some of the spots you've seen or restaurants you've been to? Yeah, we've been all over. We went to Sullivan's Island, like Isle of Palms. We uh, came down to Folly Beach, uh, all the way to Kiowa, I think. We went down to Kiowa, and then we went downtown, saw the Battery, went to Stella's restaurant. So really starting to explore it and really enjoying it. The Challenge Cup is just a few days away. What can fans expect from MLS teams coming in to play against your team? really high level. It's going to be really intense, very exciting. Uh, it's always, you know, one of the best things in the game is to test yourself against the highest level. So it's really exciting. I'm really excited for that. And I think that fans are re really going to enjoy our fast paced and super dynamic style of play. What do you like to hear from fans when you're on the field, you're playing and you're into a game? Just uh, energy. I think that's the main thing. If they can just get behind you and bring you up on, on low periods of the game, it's so helpful in the game. You've mentioned you have new teammates, you have a new head coach. What is it like being immersed into a new team heading into the 2022 season? It's fun. It's very fun. I mean, it's always great to meet new guys, get tested into a new style of play, uh, just get pushed outside your comfort zone. So it's very, very like it tests you and it's hard, but it's, it's very rewarding. With the Challenge Cup, 
coming to town. How do tournaments like the Challenge Cup help grow soccer in the Lowcountry? Yeah, I think that anytime that you have big teams like this coming in, Inner Miami, Columbus Crew, Charlotte FC, it just builds a lot of excitement and it's going to get people wanting to come out and watch those games. And I think once they start to see um, just the level of play here, they'll want to come back for more. Matt, this is your first season with the Charleston Battery. When is your first game? Who's it against and at what time? We'll be playing Charlotte FC here February 12th at 7 p.m. Awesome, Matt. Thank you so much for your time and also to Executive Chairman Rob Salvatore. For you to get your tickets to the 2022 season, head over to Seakey. For Fox 24 News Now, I'm Anna Whitty.